Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you again for joining us on the Sunday Fun Day Acrylic Train Ride. We have a drawing to do, so let's get to it. The winner um, is going to get this package of art supplies, and we'll go over it real quick. Um, a bottle of Vivid Poly Pour, two bottles of Prism Pour by Color Art. Also by Color Art is Primary Elements, Tropical Splash, a jar of Deco Art Satin Enamel in white, two 10 by 10 canvases, and a little wooden box to pour on. Makes a great gift. So, here we go. I got my can, it's empty. I'm not gonna fold these. I have Lily Burns, Luciana, Bella Bean. I have Bridget, Fluffy Bean. She is in twice. We have Kathleen, Kissy Bean. She is in there twice. Our favorite Sheldon Briscoe, Rowdy Bean. He is in there twice. Uh, Danielle Boatsman, Tiny Bean, is in there twice. Uh, Anna, Whiskey Bean. Why do you have that name? is in there four times. Uh, Barbara, Barbie Bean is in there twice. Georgian, our joyous Bean is in there and our wonderful conductor, Frosty Bean, Cy Frost, Frosty Eye Candy. Okay, I didn't fold them up. Oh dear. I knew that would happen if I didn't fold them up. So, we're gonna put that lid on there. They just came flying out. Okay, and the gift box basket items goes to Barbara, Barbie Bean. Congratulations, how exciting. So I will message you, Miss Barbie Bean, and ask for your address and you can send it to me and I will get this out in the mail hopefully on Monday. Um, I will be getting ready. I have been getting ready, uh, mentally prepared for the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas. It is coming up this week. They're having it Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I will be up there on Wednesday to help them set up and then helping out in different classes uh, during the, the event. So I'm really excited. I get to see some old friends. I uh, get to meet some new people, so it should be a lot of fun. I'll take a lot of pictures, post them in the group, so hopefully you feel like you're there as well. Um, enjoy the video. I hope you like it. I've uh, incorporated my two favorite artists again, Molly with Molly's Artistry and Kathleen Osmore with Cause Creations, um, doing a pretty simple swipe and balloon smash on a larger piece. So have fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and joining us on the Acrylic Crazy Train. And I will see you soon. Before we get started, I wanted to show you the basic consistency of the paints that I'm going to be using today. A lot of these paints are the Artist Loft ready to pour paints. And the reason I use them is because they're basically the perfect consistency and I don't have to spend hours mixing them. So I have almost all of their colors stored in squeeze bottles makes it so much easier and uh, as you can see here this is what the consistency is of most of these paints this will work for your swipes or for your balloon smashes so I just wanted to show you that so you have an idea of what we're working with
Thank you so much for being here on this Sunday fun day acrylic crazy train ride. This is something that we all look forward to on Sunday. I know I do. So by now we have seen the Joy of Pouring show with Cy Frost, Frosty Eye Candy. We've made our way over to Australia to see what Darren Nixon with Venom Fluid Art has for us. We then went to Creations by Christy, Christy Conley, then on to Sheldon Briscoe with Shell Rock Art. Then it was me and you're watching this now. And I will be followed by Lance Travis with Pouring Together with Lance Travis. Now it was right about here that I changed my mind in mid-piece as I often do and I thought I had wanted the balloons to kind of look like they were bursting out of a window um, but I decided I would get more depth if I kept them all within that uh, framing of the swipes. So what I'm doing here is going back and uh, wiping off the paint or what I was doing. Uh, around those edges so that um, all of the balloon smashes would be contained within the frame and I have to admit I made the right call uh, I don't think it would have looked as nice with the balloons on the outside of the frame so that's one of the cool things about doing a piece like this that parts of it are already painted and dried it's really easy to go back and just wipe off the paint uh, you might have to rub on it just a little bit to get it up but uh, then I got smart and what I should have done to begin with is just taped off the frame to make it a lot easier.
Now, since I did this on a black base, obviously the colors dried a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go back with just color and dry swipe over them uh, just to brighten them up a little bit. They're basically gonna be the same colors, but I wanted something a little bit brighter to go with the colors within the uh, frame, the balloon smash colors. So that's what I'm doing here. And here she is, folks. Dried, varnished, up on the wall. Now, when I finished, I took an acrylic pen, black, and I made an outline around uh, the, the space between the swipe and where the balloon smash started to give it just a little bit of depth. And uh, it, it really turned out exactly what I was hoping for. I was so pleased. I love these bright colors. I have found that in the gallery, they sell really, really well. And uh, I haven't done one that's all the bright colors in a while. So I wanted to put a little bit of different spin on it. And that's what I did. I wanna thank you for joining me today and all of us on the acrylic crazy train. Stay tuned because my buddy Lance Travis with Pouring Together with Lance Travis is coming up next.